everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's request a video, I'm gonna show you how to create a YouTube intro using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. In addition, I'm gonna show you how to add music to your intro. So if you wanna learn how simple it is to create a YouTube intro, make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, consider subscribing today. I do upload weekly videos. And don't forget, everyone, this is for everyone, hit that notification bell so you are the first one notified of any new videos that I upload. So let's head over to my computer and get this tutorial started. All right, so here we are on Canva. And I'm using Canva Pro, which is the paid one, in case if it looks a little bit different to you. And all you're gonna need is Canva, and then you're gonna need this website, it's called Envato Market. If you do a Google, you'll be able to find it. And they sell a lot of different products for your business, um, from graphic designs, to photos, uh, to digital assets, to video marketing, and so much more, and logo makers, etc. So you can come in here and kind of play with this. But for this video, we are gonna go to the audio section which let us buy royalty-free music to start as low as a dollar and ranges all the way to like 39 and more. Um, so this is what we're going to be using for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you my intro. And this is a intro that I started using on my YouTube channel. And many people took notice of it. And I really appreciate it. And a lot of you guys were like, oh, it would be great if you showed us how to do it. So I wanted to show you to today how simple it is to do it. And I'm gonna show you step by step. So this is my intro right now that you guys probably saw in the beginning of this video. So it has my logo, it has my tagline, it has my YouTube URL, and then it has my picture for branding purposes. So you can make something like this for your YouTube channel. You could put it in the beginning of your YouTube channel as an intro. You could put it at the end of your YouTube channel as an outro. And you could also use this strategy to create um, little short videos for to promote your Etsy products, to promote your Shopify products. Maybe you are a blogger. Maybe you sell other different things online. You could pretty much use this to create any sort of project that you want to do. So it's very simple to do. For a YouTube intro, you're going to do the, the standard YouTube size, which is 1280 by 720. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here in pixels. So I'm gonna create my Canva. So this is the Canva here. The next step is either uploading your own images or using the ones that Canva provide. So for this video, I'm actually using my own images. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on elements. I'm gonna go down to frames and I'm gonna pick the one that I, I have used for my intro before. You could use any of these frames that you like uh, this is just for the sake of this video. I'm using this one here. Now from here, you're able to change the color if you want. So these are my branding colors I already have set up a save. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it yellow, but you could just click on the color that you want. You could actually come up here and change the color as well if you wanted to. Um, so I'm gonna keep it my branding color. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to upload. I already have my picture saved. If you don't have a picture saved, all you need to do is drag the photo in here and it will automatically save it in your in Canva automatically, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and find one of my photos here. So give me a second here while I browse through my photos. And as you can see, I use Canva quite a lot. And even though I use Photoshop, Canva is one of my top platforms that I love to use. So once I have my picture up there uploaded, what I'm gonna do is, because it's getting cut off, I'm gonna double click on the photo, I'm gonna push it down, and I'm gonna click on done, and that looks good to me right there. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my logo. So I'm gonna go to upload, I already have a save in here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and find it really quick and upload it to my intro. So here is my logo, and I'm gonna click on it, drag it a little bit down. I kinda like the size that it is right there. Now I'm gonna add my tagline. So I'm gonna click on text. I'm gonna add heading. I'm gonna put this text right underneath and I'm gonna say helping you build an impactful online, oops, online business. 
I kind of like that. I'm going to go ahead and make it bold. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than my logo. So I'm going to make it 18. It's fine. Perfect. I'm going to use the same font, the same size. So I'm just going to duplicate by pressing this little plus sign. And I'm going to press push this down a little bit more. And I'm going to put my, U, my YouTube URL. So I'm going to say YouTube. Obviously, if you're doing XE, then you will put your XE URL if you're doing it for your Shopify store you will do the same if you're doing it for your blog you will put your blog URL um, just for branding purposes it's up to you what you want to put here you could get as creative as you like you don't have to put a tagline you don't have to put your logo you don't have to put your picture I put my picture for branding purposes because I'm the brand however if you have like an XC store you could put your XC logo so keep that in mind as well you could change the color and you can make different slides if you want so you can add different slides that have different products as well is really really up to you and even though i'm teaching you today how to do a youtube intro once you learn how to do this today you could actually use this for any type of social media platform so you could create a post for instagram you could create a post for like your instagram stories you could do this for your facebook right to promote something you could use it anywhere so keep that in mind the only thing is that you will need to optimize the actual um, intro right or the video to fit that social media platform that you're promoting on so once you're happy here you could play around with this the animate this is what i played around with to make the letters move and they have different variations of what you could do um, just pick the one that you know resonates with you which one of these you kind of like the best i actually use the rice one is my favorite one but you could use any of these you could test out different ones and then um, see which one you like at the end but as you can see you could get as creative as you like I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna stick with the one that I like now this video is five seconds long if I wanted to make it longer you just change it here if I want to make it shorter I will change it here so I'm gonna keep it at five seconds I like that for an intro it shouldn't it should be anywhere from three to five seconds it shouldn't be longer than that um, for YouTube but if you're using it for a different platform obviously you can make it longer so once you're happy here, all you need now is your music. Now, I don't recommend using music online for free or finding a site that offers you free music. It could be copyrighted. You could get in trouble. And if you use it on YouTube, you could even get your account suspended. So don't do that. Just buy them. You could buy one for as low as a dollar. Um, and the great thing is that once you buy one music track, you can use it over and over and over. So you will have, um, you will have it available for you to use for all the different projects as well. And when you come here, you could pretty much type any type of music. As you can see, I have <laughs> search here before. I have upbeat, hip hop, Latin, fun music. So if you put upbeat, it will show you all of these songs. I won't play it for copyright reasons because I will get ding. But when you go in here, just play around with it. You can see how long this track is. What I recommend is buying a smaller track when it comes for your YouTube channel. But keep in mind, you can always cut it down if you have like an editing program. Um, you could cut down the music or when you upload it to Canva, you're only setting it up for five seconds. So it will automatically cut off after five seconds. Um, but you could pick here from whatever you prefer. Um, you could also pick from category to the left hand side. The one that I use a lot is best sellers. Um, and then you'll find stuff that you never thought that you would like or you probably would have never searched for that. It is pretty, pretty cool. So you could come here and search for different music and kind of look at the different prices. Look at the review, um, obviously play the music. That's the most important to see if it goes with your brand. Once you have the music, you purchase, you download it. All you need to do is upload it to Canva. And the way to do so, I have mine saved already. So I'm gonna go ahead and download mine. I have it in a folder. All I do is upload it right here. It automatically drops into Canva and puts it under audio. And from there, I'm gonna drag and drop, and there it is. And it's that simple, it's copyrighted. Um, well, it's not copyrighted, it's um, royalty free music because I purchased it, so I could use it, excuse me, so I could use it for any of my projects. So once I'm happy here, I'm happy with how this looks, all you're gonna do is download this. You wanna download it as a MP4 video. Majority of platforms, YouTube and other platforms where you wanna share this video, it does require for the file to be an MP4. So all you're gonna do is download it. It's gonna take a few seconds. 
And if you're doing like a YouTube video, you would drop this to your editing software program, whatever program you use to create your videos. You remember, like I said in the beginning, you could use it for your intro, you could use it for your outro. If you're using it for like Instagram, all you're gonna do is e um, make sure that you email it to yourself, download it from your phone, and then upload it to Instagram. And here is our final project that we did together. And it was that simple, guys. This is how simple it is. Once you create one of these, you could create so many different projects, different things that you could do. You don't have to pay anyone else to do it. You could do it yourself. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have requests for additional videos about Canva and different things that you want to learn how to do, if I know how to do it, I will make sure to do a video about it. Um, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching.